Hi my rosy buds, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about how to make a quick and easy candy craft. It's something you could make for a party or add to a your favorite drink, but it's really fun and it kind of embraces that mermaid trend that's out right now. I am really intrigued by this mermaid trend. It kind of stemmed, I think, a little bit from that unicorn trend that I'm seeing. And I love the unicorn trend too. It's really fun with pastel colors and fun rainbow patterns. But I really like the mermaid trend a little bit more because right now it kind of reminds me of summer. Waves and scallop patterns and blues and turquoises and purple colors. It's all very fun and feels very fresh right now. So I thought it would be fun to do some mermaid candy. Something that would be fun for a mermaid party or if you just wanted to make a fun mermaid drink and put this in as an accent. This is just a very simple way to get that mermaid pattern and enjoy it. And it's also a really sweet treat too. So let's make some bark. So I started this bark by using four different colors of candy melts. I bought a bag of each, blue, purple, turquoise, and pale green. And in a microwave safe bowl, I heated each color up. Now everyone's microwave is a little bit different, so you may need to experiment here but I found for my microwave it worked well to heat the chocolate up in 30 second increments, stirring in between, and just heat it up and keep stirring until the chocolate gets to a nice melted consistency. And you need to work quickly, heat up all four right away. What I also did as I pulled each one out is I added a little bit of coconut extract. This is optional, you don't have to use this if you don't like coconut, but it just adds kind of a tropical, summery taste to the chocolate, and I thought that was fun. So I had this set up ahead of time, but what I did is I got a baking sheet and I put a piece of parchment paper down, and then working very quickly, I did my best to pour lines of chocolate across the parchment paper. For some reason, the green chocolate didn't melt as easily as the other colors and didn't pour as easily. I might have needed to heat it up again, but it all worked out in the end, as you'll see. So just pour out lines of chocolate. And then I took my chopstick and drew lines across the chocolate in parallel and then perpendicular to that to kind of create a swirly, sort of scallopy pattern in the chocolate. And once I got it to a pattern that I liked, I started sprinkling on some goodies. I grabbed some round sprinkles in blue and white, which kind of reminded me of bubbles or pearls, which felt very mermaid-ish. That's a word, right? Yeah, that's a word. And then I added some coconut chips just to kind of reinforce the fact that there was coconut flavor in my bark. And then for some sparkle and added texture that kind of reminded me a little bit of water, I used some sanding sugars in blues and green colors and just sprinkled them pretty liberally on the chocolate. And then I popped it in my freezer for about 10 minutes to harden up. Once it was nice and firm, I grabbed a knife and started breaking it into pieces. And this was so much fun to see it all come together. Now you could serve these as is. I think they'd be a really fun addition to a dessert table at a mermaid themed birthday party. Or you could put it in a fun drink, hot chocolate or a milkshake. Or it also would look really cute sitting on top of a cupcake. Either way, it's really cute. And it tastes like coconut. It's delicious. Simple, easy, and tasty. I love desserts like this. And if you like this project, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more creative and rosy ideas on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon, my rosy buds. And then I popped it in the, my, uh, freezer, not microwave. Oops. <laughs>